guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be testing out some new makeup so i'm going to be trying a couple of things that i've never tried before or that i've tried a couple of times and i want to give you my thoughts on this is a full face almost of makeup that uh is new to me some of it's brand new and then some of it's just new to me so if you're interested in that and you want to sit back and drink some coffee or some tea or a vodka soda and watch me get ready or get ready with me then just keep watching Okay, so I've already put on some eye primer. I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and then I set that with Mary Life in the Tarte and Aspen Ovar palette. And now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M535 blending brush with the shade Santorini Sands right here, this one and use that as a transition. A couple of times that I've used this palette, I used it um, for an Instagram tutorial. It has fallout, but it is really pretty. With that same brush, I'm going in with High School Sweetheart, right here. I could use the mirror in the palette, I guess. It's a really big mirror. Okay, now I'm going in with Tea Time right here. This pretty brown shade on a Morphe, I mean, I'm sorry, a MAC 217. And I'm gonna use this right in my crease. See right here, it's a little bit patchy. I don't really know what's going on. Let me just try to blend it out. Okay, now I'm taking this shade right here called Road Trip, just a little bit on a Morphe Y15, and I'm just gonna place that on the outer corner. And now I'm going to take a shade on my lid and I'm going to spray this Sigma E25 brush with this Urban Decay Rebound Spray. And I'm going to take this shade right here called Endless Summer right here and place that on my lid. I've switched over to the MAC 242 to help me control the edges a little bit. Pretty much I'm just placing the color where I want it and then I can go back in and blend out the edges to make them all flow together. Now I'm taking the Morphe M433 with High School Sweetheart and Road Trip, the, that second and third shade we used, and then just blending out the edges. Try not to blend too much though because I don't want it to blend away the um, Endless Summer shade on our lid. Okay, to prep my skin a little bit, I'm gonna spray the Urban Decay Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Um, this is really good. It says firming, smoothing, radiance boosting. Okay, I have a new primer to test out. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer in Universal Tint. This was $12 at Ulta and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's like pink iridescent. If you can see, it's really, really pretty. And you get 1.01 ounces and it says, apply to face on clean, dry skin. Wear alone or under foundation for best results. Use after our Beauty Shield SPF 50 Skin Shielding Moisturizer. So I guess there's a moisturizer as well in this line. 
Okay, so it comes out a color, which is kind of scary. Um, I'm just gonna take it, oh gosh, in between my fingers and rub it all over my skin. It feels pretty thick actually, and it kind of feels like silicone. And I normally hate the way silicone primers feel, but it is just like blending into my skin, but I definitely use too much. So if you're gonna try this, don't use as much as I just used, because I feel like it's not blending into my skin because there's too much. Okay, so it doesn't really feel that tacky. I mean, it definitely feels like there's something on my skin, but we will see how foundation goes over it. Foundation, I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I have N20, and I believe it's gonna be too light for me. So I am gonna mix in some of the um, LA Girl Pro Coverage. It's like the foundation mixer that I use, and I'm just gonna put like this much in it. I'm gonna be using a Morphe Y6 today. I'm just blending this in in the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go in. Okay, it still looks a little bit light. <laughs> it looks really light on camera. Uh, it still looks a little bit light, so I'm gonna probably mix in a little bit more after I get this first layer down. I'll just see how it looks. Maybe it dries down and oxidizes a little bit. It does feel like it dries pretty quickly, so I would move in small sections if you're gonna get this foundation or already have it. And for this foundation, it's a squeezy tube and you get 1.18 fluid ounces and it doesn't say anything about the product on the bottle, but um, I will leave a link for it down below where you can go check it out if you're interested. I definitely didn't need a lot. A little bit of this product goes a long way, but it does dry down pretty quickly. So definitely move in small sections. And it doesn't actually look half bad around my nose. My nose is always where I can tell how my foundation looks. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Mine is in Light Neutral 15, and this concealer does oxidize a little bit, so just know that if you wanna go purchase one, it dries down probably almost a full shade darker than when you put it on. And I'm blending it out with this cute Flower Beauty sponge. And I have this, this is the KKW Brightening Powder and I have mine in number one. So I'm gonna go right in. First I'm gonna go in back with that sponge and make sure I've blended out all the creases and then immediately go in and set my under eye. This is so tiny, isn't it? It's. 0.127 ounces and I believe it was $18. It really does look like it brightened. I mean, you can't really tell because I look so pale right now, but it looks good. I like it. We'll see how it looks after I have um, all the other products on, like it, if it really looks like it brightened. To set the rest of my face, I'm taking this huge Morphe E41 brush with the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in Light Medium and setting the rest of my foundation. I have oily skin. I especially like to set around my nose because that's where makeup breaks down on me first. So just a little tip, if you have oily skin too, really use a good setting powder around your nose and that will help the oils not be able to break through as quickly. I'm going in with Urban Decay Sun Kissed on a Morphe R7. Take it around my forehead. For blush today, I'm gonna to be using the blush that's in the Aspen Ovar palette. It's called Make You Blush. And this is a NYX number three brush. I 
pretty. Okay, now I feel like I have a little bit of life back into my skin. Something that I've been really loving doing once I have my blush and bronzer on, even sometimes my highlight, I'll take this brush. This is a dual fiber brush. So really any dual fiber brush will work, but this is the stippling brush from MUA, MUA Professionals. Um, and I just go over both of them, the blush and the bronzer, and it kind of softens them and blends them together. So they're not as harsh on your cheeks. Okay, let's go back to brows. This is the CoverGirl Brow Pencil in 715 Honey Brown. And I'm just gonna fill in the tail a little bit. Um, I've been trying to let them grow out a little bit more between getting them waxed. My tail can be a little bit sparse sometimes. I have two different highlighting powders. This one is the Catrice Cosmetics Highlighting Powder in Champagne Campaign. And then this one is in Mary Cherry Blossom. So this one's more pinky and this one's more champagne. I don't really know which one I wanna use. Let's see. Okay, so this one's definitely more champagne peachy. This is Champagne Campaign. And then this is Mary Cherry Blossom. Let's go in with Mary Cherry Blossom. Okay, and I'm gonna be using the Sigma F35. Oh, it's very powdery. Okay, let's tap a lot of that off. Okay, I think it's pretty, but uh, it's not my favorite. Okay, I wanna go back in with a little bit of this KKW powder because I need to know if this is worth $18 or if my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette, if it's the same exact thing. Okay, let's go in with a little bit more. Again, this is the Morphe Y11. Okay, I definitely feel like it's brightening. Ooh, that's nice. So if you have, if you struggle with dark under eyes, get a, get you a good concealer and get this if you want to try it. And I mean, it really does brighten a lot. I'm going to take Tea Time and High School Sweetheart and just run that all really kind of messily, messily, is that a word? On my lower lash line. I'm going to go off camera and do some mascara. I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardis mascara because it's old and I need to use it up so I can get rid of it. I think I probably only have one use left so I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back back I'm gonna line my lips with the Urban Decay POT lip liner and on top of that I'm gonna take this buxom um, lip coat top coat in Jordan it doesn't look like this on your lips and I also think it's kind of strange that it has this like spatula applicator I don't really understand it I think you're just kind of supposed to do this and just kind of swipe it on I mean, it's a pretty gloss, but it's not like anything I haven't seen before, but I do think it's cool that it's blue. It just doesn't, I mean, I guess it does have a little bit of a blue iridescence to it on your lips, but not really a lot. Okay, this is the completed look. Trying some new products, testing some stuff that I haven't tested before. I'll leave a comment down below on how this foundation wears throughout the day, but I think it looks really good on my skin as of right now. I zoomed you in so you can kind of see the way it looks. I like the primer so far. The, my makeup seems to have gone over it just fine. I really like the brightening powder. I'll let you know about the foundation. Um, I don't love the Catrice highlighting powders. So I would skip that um, if I were you. I don't love them. Like the Tarte palette, the mattes are a little bit, the deeper mattes are a little bit dif difficult to blend. Um, but I really love the shimmer shades and the foiled eyeshadows that are in the palette. Um, and I really like the blush as well. I love the Urban Decay um, bronzer. It's a little bit warm, so I would only use it obviously for summertime because in the wintertime, I'm just, too pale to be using that warm of a bronzer. Um, I really like this collagen spray from Urban Decay. It's gonna be in my favorites that you've either already seen or is going up after this video. Um, yeah, let me know any questions that you have down below. Leave me any product recommendations that you want me to try out. 
and yeah that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i'll see all of you in my next video bye guys